The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, designates World Heritage Sites of Outstanding Universal Value to Cultural or Natural Heritage which have been nominated by countries which are signatories to the UNESCO World Heritage Convention, established in 1972. Cultural heritage consists of monuments, such as architectural works, monumental sculptures, or inscriptions, groups of buildings, and sites, including archaeological sites. Natural features, consisting of physical and biological formations, geological and physiographical formations, including habitats of threatened species of animals and plants, and natural sites, which are important from the point of view of science, conservation, or natural beauty, are defined as natural heritage. India accepted the convention on 14 November 1977, making its sites eligible for inclusion on the list. As of 2022, there are 40 World Heritage Sites located in India. Out of these, 32 are cultural, 7 are natural, and 1, the Kanchenzonga National Park, is of mixed type. India has the 6th largest number of sites in the world. The 4 sites to be listed were the Ajanta Caves, Elora Caves, Agra Fort, and Taj Mahal, all of which were inscribed in the 1983 session of the World Heritage Committee. The most recent site listed was Dholavira, in 2021. At different times, two sites were listed as endangered. The Manas Wildlife Sanctuary was listed between 1992 and 2011 due to poaching and activities of the Bodo militias, and the monuments at Hampi were listed between 1999 and 2006 due to risks from increased traffic and new constructions in surroundings. One site is transnational, the architectural work of Lake Obusia is shared with six other countries. In addition, India has 49 sites on its tentative list. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe other channel, so let's start. Number 1. Ajanta Caves, Maharashtra The caves at Ajanta represent a collection of Buddhist art from two periods. First monuments date to 2nd and 1st centuries BCE and were created by the followers of Theravada Buddhism. Further monuments were added in the 5th and 6th centuries CE, during the Vakta dynasty, by the followers of Mahayana Buddhism. The monuments are masterpieces of Buddhist art and exhibited strong influence in India and in the broader region, especially in Java. Number 2. Elora Caves, Maharashtra Elora Caves comprise 34 temples and monasteries that were cut into a 2 km mi, long basalt cliff between the 7th and 11th centuries. As they were built by followers of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism, they illustrate religious tolerance of the period when they were constructed. The largest temple is the Kailas Temple, pictured, that is elaborately decorated with sculptures and paintings. Number 3. Agra Fort, Uttar Pradesh Agra Fort is a 16th century Mughal imperial fortress in Agra. It got its present layout under the Emperor Akbar. The complex contains several palaces, Jahangiri Mahal picture, audience halls, and two mosques. Stylistically, it is one of the high points of the Indo-Islamic architecture, with influences of Persian and Timurid architecture. Number 4. Taj Mahal, Uttar Pradesh Taj Mahal is the finest example of the Indo-Islamic architecture. It was built in Agra on the bank of the Yamuna River as a mausoleum of Mumtaz Mahal, the Persian wife of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, between 1631 and 1648. It was designed by Ustad Ahmad Lahori and built in white marble with inlay with precious and semi-precious stones. The tomb is surrounded by four freestanding minarets. The complex also includes the main gate, a mosque, a guest house, and surrounding gardens. Number 5. Sun Temple, Konark, Odisha The Hindu temple was built in the 13th century and is one of the finest examples of the Kalinga architecture. It represents the chariot of the solar deity Surya. On the outer sides, it has 24 wheels, carved of stone and richly decorated, and it is pulled by six horses. Other decorative motifs include lions, musicians, dancers, and erotic scenes. Number 6. Group of Monuments at Mahablipuram, Tamil Nadu the monuments around the town of Mamalapuram were built in the 7th and 8th centuries under the Palva dynasty. There are different types of monuments, the Rathas, which are chariot-shaped temples, Dharmaraja Ratha, the Mandapas, rocket temples, rock reliefs, including the giant descent of the Ganges, Shaw Temple, Pictured, and other temples and archaeological remains. 
The artistic expression of the monuments was influential in the broader region, including Cambodia, Vietnam, and Java. Number 7. Kaziranga National Park, Assam Kaziranga is located in the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River. It is one of the best wildlife sanctuaries in the world, home to world's largest population of the Indian rhinoceros, pictured, as well as tiger, Asian elephant, wild water buffalo, and the Ganges River dolphin. The wetlands are important for migratory bird species. Number 8. Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, Assam The sanctuary along the Manas River covers grasslands on floodplains and forests, both in lowlands and in hills. The area is a biodiversity hotspot and home to several endangered species, including the Indian rhinoceros, Asian elephants, pictured, wild water buffaloes, tiger, sloth bear, pygmy hawk, G's golden langur, and the Bengal florican. The forests are constantly being renewed after floods and changes of the river courses. Between 1992 and 2011, the site was listed as endangered due to poaching and activities of the Bodo militias. Number 9. Kyoledio National Park, Rajasthan Initially a duck hunting reserve for Maharajas, Kyoledio is a man-made and man-maintained wetland. It is important both for migratory and resident birds, especially water birds. Over 350 species of birds have been recorded, including 15 species of herons, Siberian crane, and greater spotted eagle. Pictured here is a group of bar-headed goose and demoiselle cranes flying together in the park. The park is also protected under the Ramsar Convention. Number 10. Churches and Convents of Goa Old Goa was the capital of Portuguese India, a colony that lasted for 450 years until 1961. The site comprises seven churches and convents that were built in the 16th and 17th centuries in Gothic, Manuline, Mannerist, and Baroque styles, but were also adapted to suit the local techniques and resources. They were influential in spreading of architectural influences to countries in Asia where Catholic missions were being established. The Basilica of Bomb Jesus, where St. Francis Xavier is buried, is pictured. Number 11. Khajuraho Group of Monuments, Madhya Pradesh This site comprises 23 temples, both Hindu and Jain, that were built in the 10th and 11th centuries during the Chandela dynasty. The temples are built in the Nagra style. They are richly decorated with stone carvings and sculptures that depict sacred and secular motifs, including depictions of domestic life, musicians, dancers, and amorous couples. A detail from the Lakshmana Temple is pictured. Number 12. Group of Monuments at Hampi, Karnataka Hampi was the capital of the Vijendra Empire until the abandonment after the sacking and pillaging by the Deccan Sultanates in 1565. For about 200 years, it was a prosperous multicultural city that left several monuments in the Dravidian as well in the Indo-Islamic style. The remains include religious and secular buildings and defensive structures. The Virupaksha temple is pictured. A minor boundary modification of the site took place in 2012. Between 1999 and 2006, the site was listed as endangered due to risks posed by increased traffic and new constructions. Number 13. Fatehpur Sikri, Uttar Pradesh For about a decade in the second half of the 16th century, Fatehpur Sikri was the capital of the Mughal Empire under Emperor Akbar, until the capital was moved to Lahore in 1585 and the city was mostly abandoned. The site comprises a large collection of monuments and temples in the Mughal style, such as the Jama Masjid, the Gate to the Mosque, the Buland Darwaza, pictured, the Paj Mahal Palace, and the tomb of Salim Chishti. Number 14. Group of Monuments at Patadatal, Karnataka This site comprises nine Hindu and one Jain temple that were built in the 7th and 8th centuries under the Chalukya dynasty. They were constructed in the Badami Chalukya style that blends influences from northern and southern India. The temple of Virupaksha is pictured. Number 15 Elephanta Caves, Maharashtra The cave complex, located on the Elephanta Island in Mumbai Harbour, was constructed mainly in the 5th and 6th centuries, with remains of human occupation dating back to the 2nd century BC. The temples are dedicated to Shiva. The caves are decorated with stone carvings, some of them colossal. A statue of Trimurti Shiva, flanked by the Dwar Palace, is pictured. Number 16 Great Living Chola Temples, Tamil Nadu 
This site comprises three Hindu temples built in the 11th and 12th centuries under the Chola dynasty. They represent some of the best examples of Dravidian architecture of the Chola period. They are made of stone and decorated with stone and bronze sculptures. Initially, only the Bridhiswara temple picture was listed as a World Heritage Site. Two other temples, the Bredeswara Temple and the Arvdeswara Temple were added in 2004 and the site was renamed to the current name. Number 17. Sundarbans National Park, West Bengal. The national park covers the Indian part of the Sundarbans, the delta of the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers. It is the world's largest and richest mangrove forest, with about 78 recorded mangrove species. It is a biodiversity hotspot, home to a large population of Bengal tigers, one picture, as well as an important habitat for the Iravadi dolphin and Ganges river dolphin, several species of birds and sea turtles. In Bangladesh, the Sundarbans is listed as a separate World Heritage Site. Number 18. Nanda Devi and Valley of Flowers National Parks, Uttarakhand. This site comprises two properties in West Himalayas, the Valley of Flowers National Park, pictured, and the Nanda Devi National Park. There are different types of high-altitude habitats, from high mountain peaks, Nanda Devi, at 7,870 meters, 25,646 feet, is India's second highest mountain, to alpine meadows. In addition to numerous mountain plant species, the area is home to the Asiatic black bear, snow leopard, brown bear, and bharal. Nanda Devi NP was originally listed alone in 1988, the Valley of Flowers NP was added in 2005. Number 19. Buddhist Monuments at Sanchi, Madhya Pradesh. Sanchi is one of the oldest extant Buddhist sanctuaries and was instrumental in the spread of the religion through the Indian subcontinent. It became important under Emperor Ashoka of the Maurya Empire in the 3rd century BC. The remains of a pillar from the period are preserved. Stupas, Stupa 1 pictured, palaces, temples, and monasteries are preserved in different states of conservation, mostly dating to the 2nd and 1st centuries BC. The city declined in importance in the 12th century. Number 20. Humayu's Tomb, Delhi. The tomb of the Mughal Emperor Humayun was constructed in the 1560s and represents the first example of a garden tomb on the Indian subcontinent, introducing the elements of Persian gardens. The monumental double-domed mausoleum represents a leap in Mughal architecture and is an architectural predecessor of the Taj Mahal. The complex includes several smaller tombs from the period. A minor boundary modification took place in 2016. Number 21. Kutub Minar and its Monuments, Delhi The complex comprises several early Islamic India monuments from the 13th and 14th centuries when the Delhi Sultanate established power in the country. They include the Kutub Minar, a 72.5 m, 238 feet, high minaret, pictured, the Alai Darwaza Gateway, the Kuvatul Islam Mosque where several stone pillars from previous Hindu temples were repurposed, the Iron Pillar, and several tombs and other monuments. Number 22. Mountain Railways of India, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Himachal Pradesh. This site comprises three mountain railways that were built in the late 19th and early 20th century to provide access to towns in highlands. They represent a technology transfer in a colonial setting, the construction involved building bridges and tunnels in order to cross difficult terrains. The railways provided support for further human settlement of the areas they linked to and are still fully operational. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway was initially listed alone in 1999. The Nidiri Mountain Railway was added in 2005 and the Kalka, Shimla Railway, pictured, in 2008. Number 23. Mahabodhi Temple Complex at Bodh Gaya, Bihar. The Buddhist temple complex marks the site where Buddha is said to have attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. The present temple dates to the 5th and 6th centuries CE, during the Gupta period and was built upon a previous structure commissioned by Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BC. The temple is 50 meters, 160 feet, high and made of brick. It had substantial influence on the development of architecture in the following centuries. After centuries of abandonment and neglect, the temple was extensively restored in the 19th century. Number 24. Rock Shelters of Bimbetka, Madhya Pradesh. This site comprises five clusters of rock shelters in the foothills of the Vindhya Range. 
They contain rock paintings from the hunter-gatherer societies of the Mesolithic to the historical period. The nearby villages still maintain some cultural practices similar to those depicted in the paintings. Number 25. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, Maharashtra. The historic terminal train station in Mumbai was built in the late 19th century. It was designed by Frederick William Stevens in the Victorian Gothic style, drawing influences from Italian Gothic architecture and combining them with influences from Indian traditional buildings. It symbolized the wealth of Mumbai as a major commercial port within the British Commonwealth. Number 26. Champena Pavagad Archaeological Park, Gujarat. The site contains remains from several periods, from the Chalcolithic to the remains of Champena a short-lived capital of the Gujarat Sultanate in the 16th century. Important buildings include the Hindu temple Kalika Mata, Jain temples, and Jama Mosque, pictured, which features both Hindu and Muslim architectural elements, and the remains of water-managing systems, fortifications, and 14th-century temples. Number 27. Red Fort Complex, Delhi. The Red Fort was built under Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in the mid-17th century. It represents the zenith of Mughal architecture. It blends the elements of the Indo-Persian culture with Timurid elements. Its architecture had strong influence on later palaces and gardens in the region. The Red Fort was also the setting of historical events. It was sacked and partially repurposed by the British, and it was the site where the independence of India was first celebrated. The Delhi Gate is pictured. Number 28. The Jantar Mantar, Jaipur, Rajasthan. The Jantar Mantar in Jaipur is India's most significant historic astronomical observatory. It dates from the early 18th century, from the late Mughal period. There are about 20 astronomical instruments that were designed and built for naked eye observations of positions of stars and planets. It also served as a meeting point of different scientific cultures. Number 29. Western Ghats, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. The Western Ghats is a mountain range that runs along the eastern coast of the Indian subcontinent. They are covered with mountain forests. The area is a biodiversity hotspot and home to endangered species such as the Bengal tiger, Dole lion-tailed macaque, Nilgiri tehen, and Nilgiri langur. In the terms of evolutionary history, the area is important in view of the breakup of Gondwana in the early Jurassic period, after which India was an isolated landmass until the collision with the Eurasian plate. The World Heritage Site comprises 39 individual properties. Number 30. Hill Forts of Rajasthan. This site comprises six forts, the Chittol Fort, Kumbhalgarh Fort, Ranthambhar Fort, Gagron Fort, Amber Fort, pictured, and the Jaisalmer Fort, that were constructed between the 8th and 18th centuries by Rajput kingdoms. They are eclectic in style, with elements of the Sultanate and Mughal architecture and were influential on the later styles of the Maratha Empire. They are situated in different settings, for example, Ranthambhor is in a forest and Jaisalmer in a desert. Number 31. Rani Ki Waaf, the Queen's Stepwell, at Patan, Gujarat. Rani Ki Waaf is one of the finest examples of a stepwell, an elaborate type of well where groundwater is accessed through several levels of stairs. It was constructed in the 11th century, during the Chalukya dynasty, on the banks of the Saraswati River in the city of Patan. It consists of seven levels, each of which is decorated with stone carvings and sculptures, depicting religious and secular themes and literary works. After the change in the river course in the 13th century, it was no longer in use and got covered with silt, which allowed for its preservation. Number 32. Great Himalayan National Park Conservation Area, Himachal Pradesh. The national park covers habitats from alpine peaks of the Himalayas above 6,000 meters (20,000 feet) to alpine meadows and riverine forests below 2,000 meters (6,600 feet). In total, there are 25 types of forests recorded, and they have rich floral and faunal assemblies, including numerous species of birds, mammals, reptiles, and insects. It is home to endangered species such as the western tragopan and musk deer. Number 33. Archaeological site of Nalanda Mahavihara at Nalanda, Bihar. Nalanda Mahavihara was a Buddhist ancient higher learning institution established in the 5th century and lasting until the sacking in the 13th century, though some archaeological remains also date back to the 3rd century BCE. 
The remains include shrines and stupas, viharas, residential and educational buildings, and artworks in different materials. Both the architectural solutions and educational approaches were influential in other similar institutions in the broader region. Number 34. Kang Chinzonga National Park, Sikkim. The national park is located around Mount Kang Chinzonga, the world's third highest mountain, 8,586 meters, 28,169 feet. It is a sacred mountain in Tibetan Buddhism, where the area is considered a bayun, a sacred hidden land. It is home to ethnically very diverse Sikkimese communities. From the natural perspective, the area comprises various habitats, from high mountains with glaciers to old-growth forests, and is rich both in animal and plant species. Number 35. The Architectural Work of Lake Obusia, Chandigarh. This transnational site, shared with Argentina, Belgium, France, Germany, Switzerland, and Japan, encompasses 17 works of Franco-Swiss architect Lake Obusia. Lake Obusia was an important representative of the 20th century modernist movement, which introduced new architectural techniques to meet the needs of the changing society. The Chandigarh Capitol complex is listed in India. It is the central part of the city of Chandigarh and is designed in line with the principles of a radiant city. The Palace of Assembly is pictured. Number 36. Historic City of Ahmedabad, Gujarat. The city of Ahmedabad was founded by Ahmad Shah I in 1411 to serve as the capital of the Gujarat Sultanate. It was the meeting place of many religions, Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, Jainism, Christianity, Zoroastrianism, Judaism, which resulted in a unique urban fabric. The architecture is based on timber and the typical neighborhoods are called poles, densely packed traditional houses with gated streets. Important buildings from the Sultanate period include the Bhadra Fort city walls, Sidi Sayyad Mosque, pictured, and numerous mosques, tombs, and shrines. Number 37. Victorian Gothic and Art Deco Ensembles of Mumbai, Maharashtra. This site comprises two assemblies of buildings in Mumbai from the British Empire era. Public buildings in the Victorian Gothic style from the second half of the 19th century adapted Gothic revival elements for Indian climate, introducing features such as balconies and verandas. The Bombay High Court building is pictured. The Art Deco buildings date to the early 20th century and include cinema halls and apartment buildings. Number 38. Jaipur City, Rajasthan. Jaipur was founded by the Rajput ruler Jai Singh II in 1727. The city was built with a grid plan, which was inspired both by ancient Hindu and Western ideals in a departure from the medieval architecture of the region. It was a strong trade center and home to craftsmen and artists. Important buildings and sites include the Hava Mahal Palace, pictured Govind Dev Ji Temple, City Palace, and Jantal Mantar, which is listed as a separate World Heritage Site. Number 39. Kakatiya Rudreshwara, Ramapa, Temple, Telangana. The Hindu temple, dedicated to Shiva, was constructed in the first half of the 13th century under the Kakatiya dynasty. It is decorated with stone carvings and sculptures in granite and dolerite that depict regional dance customs. In line with Hindu practices, the temple is constructed in a way that it blends harmonically with the environment. And in the number 40, the most recent site listed was Dholavira, a Harappan city, Gujarat. Dholavira was one of the centers of the Harappan civilization from the 3rd to mid to end millennium BCE, in the Bronze Age. The remains include a walled city and a cemetery, and there are remains of buildings and of water management systems. The location of the city was chosen because of nearby sources of precious minerals. The city had trade connections with other cities in the region and as far as Mesopotamia. The site was rediscovered in 1968.